All right, today I'm going to show you how to create this cool marble technique onto some terracotta pots. Some just regular store-bought terracotta pots, kind of giving it. All right, so what you'll need today is some terracotta pots. Um, I just picked these up from um, the Dollar Tree. I got two for a dollar there. That's pretty cool. An old rag that you don't care about anymore. Old nail polish. A tub, a nice sturdy tub, um, not used for food, just like a crafting tub. You can also use um, those um, uh, aluminum foil baking pans as long as it has a deep enough lip. Um, and last but not least, um, some water. So what we're going to do, we're going to take everything out. some room. I'm going to carefully pour some water into the bin. You don't want it to be too high. You just need it to cover the bottom. Um, this looks like about a half an inch, maybe an inch. Um, my pots are pretty small. Um, so it doesn't necessarily matter if you have a bigger pot then maybe a little bit deeper water but next step is we're going to actually add some um, nail polish so shake it up real good make sure that enamel and pigment is all mixed in and we're just going to kind of dab some dots and if you can see that, I don't know if you can see that, they kind of start expanding. Um, the reason I'm not dumping the whole thing in, or the pouring it in, is because sometimes it settles on the bottom um, if you pour it too fast. And that doesn't do anything for us. So we want this cool marbling technique. Um, and we're going to achieve that by all the color that rests on top of the water. So I got some pink. I have some teal. And you can definitely mix, match. It doesn't necessarily, the pattern doesn't matter at this point because we're going to marbleize this shortly. So I added all my color. I added a little bit of white too because the terracotta is like this orangey tech tone. I wanted to make sure I had enough contrast. So I have pink, teal, and white. And what I'm doing now, I'm getting a pencil point um, and I'm going to lightly drag this across the water. You can also use a toothpick. You can use a chopstick. Anything that you have that you don't have don't need on hand or just and we're gonna kind of swirl it gotta be careful because um, if, if you're not too quick the the, um, the color sun t tends to dry on top I'm gonna attempt to use I got I just have a piece of paper right now here all right so I have kind of a swirl pattern and I'm going to go ahead and I'm literally just going to go skim it on the top and I'm just going to kind of roll it. You don't want too much pigment on any one spot. I don't know if you can see that, but now you have this cool marble pattern with very minimal effort. So I only got the one side, so I'm carefully going to grab last little bit of the dry side and I'm gonna roll it and hopefully yeah well, and it turned out pretty good and then we're going to just grab our towel we're gonna lay it down and we're gonna put this guy we're just gonna lay this flat and let it dry 